In this video we're going to, because we've looked at 2D shapes and now I'm going to move on and look at some 3D shapes and this is going to be part 1 which is going to talk about the basics. And there's actually only going to be two parts of this. And we've got a few different types of shapes, 3D shapes. We've got a cube which is to draw it with do a square and then another square and then you can join them up like that. And then a cube, they are all the same. And a cuboid is very similar, but they're not the same at all. Which would look something like that. The sphere is like a round ball. With that type of circle in the middle. The square based pyramid has a point up at the top. A square at the bottom and lines joining the four points. And triangle ones the same, which will look something like that, which is kind of hard to draw as well. A cone will look like that, and a sound a circle and a circle there, and it'll look like that. So those are different types of shapes and there's also a few special 3D shapes, one called an octahedron which is something like that and a dodecahedron which is like a big ball made completely of pentagons and an isosahedron which is a big ball made of isosceles triangles which we won't actually need. Let's look at faces, edges and vertices now. A face is a surface on the shape. Edges where two, surf two faces meet. And the ver vertex is the name for just one, is where three edges meet. Okay, so, and I also want to tell you about some prisms here. An example of a prism, something like this. We'll have constant. We'll have one type of cross section. Like that. And it's the same all the way through, like a sound. That's also another type of example. It's kind of a prism. A prism can also be a weird shaped thing, like that way. This is all constant all the way through. This is like this bit called a cross section. This bit called a cross section. This bit here is called a cross section. So that's what a prism is. And now let's look at how many faces, edges, and vertices are on these shapes. Now, a cube, let's look at a cube. Let's see a picture of one here. Now this is a face here, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. A cube has six faces, because all these have faces and like a dice, you know that. A dice has numbers one to six on each side, so that can be a bit of a clue. And a cube is the same but with different sides, so that's also going to have six faces. And it has edges as well so it's gonna have an edge as an edge here it's got four edges on the top and then it's got another four edges on this one here so that's eight edges and then there's two on this one and two on that one because I've already counted these two on them once so that's twelve edges 
can um, check that by counting them all if you like but that is the number and that's pretty similar so that's also going to have 12 edges the vertices are the corners here so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 vertices that's the number of vertices on them the square based pyramid now well, it has four triangles and a square on the bottom, so that's going to have five faces. Because the four triangles, each one of those triangles is a face, and the square on the bottom is also a face, so that's five faces. The number of edges, well, it's going to have four edges on the bottom here. One, two, three, four. And it's going to have another four edges pointing up, so it's going to have five, six, seven, and then eight. So it's going to have eight edges and let's see how many vertices it's going to have well it's going to have four corners on the bottom and the big point at the top so that's five vertices so look it doesn't always have to be four three edges it can be any number so in more general edges meet so it doesn't have to be just two and we'll look at the triangle pyramid now. That has three which are triangles, and then one on the bottom, so it's going to have four faces. And the edges, it's going to have three on the bottom because that's a triangle, and then it's going to have another three. So that's going to be six edges. It's going to have these two, these three on the bottom, and then these other ones pointing up. To the points so that's six altogether, and then the number of um, vertices it's going to have is let's say it's going to have three on the bottom here, and then a point at the top, so that's four vertices. So it has four vertices, and now we've got this one which is going to have two triangles one here, one here, and these three here. So that's going to have five faces. And we'll see how many edges it's got now. It's going to have three on this triangle. Another three on that triangle. And then it's going to have another three here. So that's going to be nine, nine edges altogether. And the number of vertices is going to have one at the point here, one at the point here, one at the point here. So if you figure that out, you'll find out that comes to 6. So that's a, the idea of what prisms are and what faces, edges and vertices are. And here's the definitions of what they mean. And here's some sketches of important 3D shapes and a little idea on how to draw them.